I am back with my August favorites for you today. I'm super excited to share with you what I have been loving for the month of August. And yeah, I feel like I have a couple of things. Um, I keep going back and forth. Do I continue my Friday favorites? Um, or do I just nix my um, monthly favorites here? Because some of it overlaps. But I do feel like um, I'm going to start making my Friday favorites very quick and to the point and just a couple of items that I've really been loving that week rather than this whole spiel of like what I've been using. Um, and then for my monthly favorites, I'll just do the things that I just love all month long and that I've maybe discovered that month or something like that. So I don't know how to like kind of differentiate the two because um, a lot of it overlaps and you'll see that in this video some of it overlaps so hope you guys don't mind that but um, these are going to be my favorites for August and I think I got some good ones so let's go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna start off with skincare my get unready with me um, video or my nighttime skincare routine just went up a couple days ago I will link that down below if you haven't checked it out um, but in there I showed the Bosha um, makeup breakup cool cleansing oil and I am so simply in love with this product. It is so good. Um, I have tried the Garnier one, which I think caused some weird stuff on my face, um, but this one is just so much better. And the way it is better than like the Garnier one is I believe this one it's easier like I don't have to just rub and rub and rub and rub at my eyes for it to try to come off especially my mascara my mascara is the one thing that like is just a pain for me to get off I hate taking it off um, but this makes it so much easier I literally just quickly rub it into my eyes and all of my mascara comes off of my eyelashes I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. I love this. I think it just melts my makeup off. It makes my skin feel really clean afterwards, but I always go in with a cleanser afterwards because I do not want any kind of oily residue on my face. I feel like the Garnier one can slightly leave that oily residue on your face. This one does not at all, but I'm still like, I have to clean my face after I use this because I don't want any kind of residue on my face. So I really love it though. It takes my makeup off like a dream and so easily and I highly suggest it. If you haven't tried this, I suggest going to pick it up because it's amazing and anything that's easy to take my makeup off, I'm good. Another skincare product that I've been loving um, and I actually love all the time, not just um, this past month. I've been loving it since I've got it and I just swear by it. Um, and you did see this in my nighttime skincare routine as well. It is the um, Michael Todd Anti-Aging Facelift, the new serum, I believe. KNU. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. I'm going to say it's new. Um, but I love this stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm about halfway through this. Um, but I just feel like it really helps my fine lines. I have bad fine lines up here. I think it's because I have a lot of facial expressions and I lift my eyebrows up a lot and I get those lines there. But, and I also think it's from tanning when I was in high school, awful decision. Um, but I have these awful, awful fine lines up here and I'm like fighting them with this. And I really do think it helps overall. Um, I don't see like, it doesn't make my fine lines disappear, but I do feel like it shrinks them a little bit and it just, because they're so deep up here, I feel like it doesn't make them as deep. And I notice when I don't use this, I feel like my skin gets really dried out up here and it you could see my fine lines even more, if that makes sense. Um, I do think that you need to use it consistently though. If you just use it once in a while, it's not going to do anything. You have to use this every single night or day if you prefer putting it on during the day um, for it to actually you actually see results um, so I use this religiously every single night um, and I do think it works I really do 
Um, whenever I like take a day off of it, I'm like, stupid decision, I need to go back to it. So I love this um, and I always have Michael Todd coupons down below um, if you, in case you are interested. I love their products. Of course, I use a ton of them, but this one is a really, really good one. Okay, so the mascara that I've loved all month long and that I've used all month long and I think even last month too, um, and I did mention this in a Friday Favorites, this is the L'Oreal this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara, and I really do like this mascara. The only problem one I have with it is I told this before, it has a stinky smell. Like it smells like plastic chemicals. I don't like that. And the wand like bends kind of funky like that. Um, did I just make up a word? Did I just say funky? I think I did. But the wand is super weird like that. Um, but what I do is I just kind of take it at the base of my lashes and just kind of wiggle it up and try to keep it as calm as I can because I do not like that flick because whenever I do that flick, mascara gets all over me. Like I am messy with mascara. I am crazy with mascara. I go, I just, I try to do it too quick. I think that's my problem and then I get it everywhere. But this is a really good mascara. It gives really good volume and length and I feel like it just really makes my lashes look big and open, um, which I like and I think it's a good one. Do I think it's my favorite of all time? Absolutely not. But it is a good one to try out and it'd probably good, be a good layering mascara too. So I really like this and I've been loving it all month. Okay, another mascara that I have to mention, and I think I've mentioned it a couple times, but I haven't really talked about it. Um, this is the Maybelline Lash Discovery, and this is the Mini Brush Mascara. So it looks like this. This thing has been around for like... I don't even know, ages. But what I love, I love using this for my lower lashes because it's such a tiny brush. Look how tiny that thing is. I love it. It's super, super, super tiny. Um, so I can really get in there on my lashes and just really press it in to my lower lash line. And I feel like it gets all of my lashes down there. Um, and I like it. And it doesn't... Um, I have seen it smudge down here a couple times when it's really hot outside and I don't set my under eye um, concealer with powder. Um, I do see it transfer, but when I set my under eye and it's not 500 degrees outside, this doesn't transfer down as much. So I really do like this. Um, I think it's just a really nice way to like get in there with your lashes. And it's kind of similar to the Clinique Bottom Lash. That one is a really tiny brush, but it's very, very similar, and it's from the drugstore, so it's super cheap. Okay, let's talk about some lippies. Um, the first one, I'm just going to talk about my lip right now. Um, I picked this up a while ago. I've worn it a couple times um, throughout the month, and I really, really like it. And I've never owned one of these. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it is in Adis Ababa. Adis Ababa, I think I said that right. I don't know. But it is just this really, really awesome bright fuchsia color and I really was scared about the consistency because matte makes me scared but this month I have been trying matte lips so that is what it looks like swatched obviously I'm wearing out my lips today um the thing I like about this is it's very very thin in consistency it's not super super goopy or thick so when you glide it on it glides on very very smoothly and it kind of just sets into your lips so it doesn't I don't know, it doesn't make, it doesn't, it won't bleed out, it's not too high maintenance, I guess. Um, and the other thing is that it doesn't feel like it dries my lips out. It, even though it like sets into my lips, I don't think it like dries my lips out and makes it look flaky and gross like a lot of matte lipsticks do. So I really like this, I think it's really good and it's affordable, it's cheap. So this color is really pretty too, Adis Ababa. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so three other lippies are all in the same family that I've been loving. I've been loving this matte lipstick lately. Obviously, I'm wearing a matte lipstick today, or a matte lip, I should say. Um, but I really love these, and they're all that, like, brownish, mauve nudish kind of color. Like, I don't know. I've never liked those colors. I've never been drawn to those colors, but some reason this month I've really liked them and I feel like these colors really just bring life to my face. It goes really well with my dark, dark hair. 
Um, I don't know, I just like it lately. So the two that I'm gonna, the two from MAC that I'm gonna mention um, are Twig, which is um, actually not a matte lipstick, but it is a brownie kind of mauve color. I used this in my summer to fall tutorial. It's just really pretty. It's a really pretty mauve brown color. I just love it. It's a great one. Um, it is, like I said, a satin finish, so it's not too drying. It's not um, too chalky feeling on the lips. It really wears a long, long time. It wears like a matte lipstick. It wears a really long time. So I really love that one. And the other one I like is Kinda Sexy which is a matte lipstick. Um, it's more of a brownish nude color, I would say. Um, it has a little bit of peach in there too, so that is kind of sexy. I really like this one too. Um, it does wear a little bit dry, um, but not too dry to where I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like my lips are like crackling and like flaking off. Um, and it wears really, really long, so I've really been loving lipsticks I don't know what it is um and then the other one that's a random color um I saw somebody talk about this and I was like oh my gosh I have that and I am in love with this um it is the Tarte Exposed Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint and it's one of these like jumbo crayons and it's the kind of the same color as kind of sexy um a little bit deeper it's kind of like in between kind of sexy and twig um so that is that right there um again it is a matte lipstick it is a little bit drying but I kind of like it. If I exfoliate my lips good, if I put on a lip balm right when I start my makeup and then end with this, it wears really, really well throughout the day. So I'm sorry, I went on a tangent about brown matte lip colors, but I really, really like these. Um, all three of these have been on my lips almost all month long and I really, really like them. So good ones. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my August favorites. If you have any video requests, definitely leave them down below. Like this video if you liked it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys actually tomorrow with a new video. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.